everyone. My name is Robert Stelbridge. I'm the director of children's and youth ministry here at Church of the Valley. And I want to welcome you to uh, what is basically just a video of me connecting with you during this time where we are isolated from one another. Um, I want to encourage you uh, to maintain the faith, keep connected with your uh, fellow congregation members and brothers and sisters in Christ, and also your own relationship with the Lord while you're at home with your families. Um, it has been a difficult and interesting time for my family, especially for me. It's, it's hard for me not to be uh, in contact with uh, the kids, the students, and even uh, everyone that comes on this campus typically on a Sunday. Not to be here has been a very difficult transition for, for myself. Uh, I'm one of those people who enjoys being around other individuals and being in community, and it's always been something that I've held very close to my heart. And so this time has changed that. Right? We have to socially distance, we have to be smart, we have to make the right choices to protect everyone in our community. And so while we do that, uh, I have this opportunity and I'm grateful to just kind of say, hey, we're still here and my prayer for you guys is that you are safe at home and figuring out what works for your family during this time as you guys connect together uh, deeper, hopefully, in relationship with each other, but also deeper in your relationship with the Lord, like I said. So what I want to do uh, during this time is just share uh, a scripture uh, that I hold close to my heart that helps me um, kind of maintain my sanity during this time, kind of centers me, keeps me uh, focused uh, on what God would have me do and what he would have me become uh, as we go through this uh, new reality, as it were. So if you have a Bible or a cell phone, I would ask you to open up your your Bible or turn on your cell phone and I'm going to share with you a little bit from Romans uh, chapter 5 verses 1 through 5 and this is Paul's letter to the Romans. Title of it if you have an NIV is peace and hope and here we go. Therefore since we have been justified through faith we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand and we boast in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance, and perseverance, character, and character, hope. And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. And in that scripture, I just want to point out a couple of uh, words that are kind of keywords and meaningful for the time that we are going through. Suffering. Suffering is going to look different for each one of us during this time. Uh, for me, suffering is being separated from my students, uh, from this church, and just the bodies of people that we get to see on a Sunday morning and, and, and hugging each other and connecting face to face. For me, not having that has been a real trial. And I've prayed constantly that God would help me through that. And suffering, I'm sure, looks different for each one of you, whether it's uh, panic or anxiety or stress or uh, a, a parent who has to become a teacher because your child maybe doesn't have a school to go to right now. Or maybe even more real, it's the fact that there's a financial burden that this pandemic is putting upon your family. Hope the other word that I want to focus on and I want each one of you to take that to heart and bring it to the cross and bring it to your creator. God can get all of us through this because God has already figured out a way through this. He is in control of every day. He's in control of each one of our lives and he has a purpose and a plan for everyone through the time of this pandemic. And so my encouragement to you is to seek him first for you and for your family during this time so that when it's over and when we gather again, you have become something greater because of the blessing that God has gifted you with during this struggle and during this suffering. So I'm gonna pray for each one of your families constantly. I want you to know that COB is here for you. We love you and we cannot wait to see you again. God bless.